lads. Just before this video kicks off, lads, it's coming to the end of summer now. It's actually officially the end of summer next week. Uh, so to celebrate that or to basically not celebrate it, I'm going to give 15% off everything on the website until the official end of summer, which is the 29th of October. So up until then, you get 15% off everything. Uh, just put the code SUMMER15 in your checkout and you're good to go, lads. Yuri, lads, I was going to have another video to put today, but I don't think it's going to end up happening. The video that I've been wanting to record has just taken weeks, and it's a bit of a piss take, but you'll see when that finally gets uploaded. So basically, I'm going to spend the day today explaining to you guys what I hate, not so the hate, but the things I dislike about this car. It's French. The noise it makes when the fuel light comes on. When we were driving along and, and the fuel light comes on, which for some strange reason, instead of 50 miles like every other car, it's 38 miles. No idea why they chose 38, no idea. But it's so freaking loud. There's no need for it to be that loud. Fucking hell. Like, it's just absolutely stupidly loud. It scares you every single time, and, it, and that's one thing I hate. The seating position. Now, I'm not sure if this is just uh, all the Megans have this problem or it's just uh, the R26s with the with the Recaros. But I'm I'm a pretty average height. I'm about five foot ten. Do you know I'm I've, I'm pretty. I'm an average size person. And the way I'm sitting now is I'll show you. The way I sit, I mean, that's my clutch fully pressed. So that that's close. I mean, by no means is that sitting far back. By no means. I mean, I see some people that drive with the legs like that. No. My legs, that's my clutch, fully pressed down. I've got a good bend in there. But the only thing is, you're not close to anything. Like, you're literally not close to anything when you're sitting up. And I'm not sitting far back either. This is me, pretty up straight. Yeah, you can touch the steering wheel at a push. My arm's fully lengthened no. out. But if you want to touch traction control or cruise control, it's a bit, you've got to bloody bend over. Same with the radio, you have to bloody bend over. I mean, seats are pretty up straight. Not like I'm sitting down like that. It's just a really annoying design. Well, it's the Recaros and the lovely and they look good, so I put up with it. But it's something that's still pretty annoying. It's not keyless entry and it's not keyless start. I mean, it's so annoying because some of the R26s have this, some of them don't. Uh, but it's just really frustrating because, I mean, uh, I've got the sensors on the doors, which would you would think, obviously, that's keyless entry. Uh, and But for some reason, my car does not have, just doesn't have the software to do it. Every time I get in the car, I've got to put the key in the slot, press the key. If I press the key, it goes, card not inserted. And it's really, really annoying. I mean, fair enough if you if you don't have it, but just don't tease it with the bloody sensors on the doors. Do you know what I mean? At this point, the comment section's going to be like, I bet it does have it, it's just not working. Now, I've had someone from Renault have a look, and, it's, and it actually, this, this my car does not have it. I know this one just ties in with it being French and everything, but there's so many creaks and weird noises uh, coming from the car. Uh, let's see if I can give you a couple of examples now. So one being the fans. Can you hear that? Like, that's the fans. No, no idea. But it comes from all of them. It comes from bloody all of them. Yeah, two being the steering wheel. The fact that there's no heated windscreen. This is really annoying because when you get in your car and you just want to clear some mist off your windscreen, etc., you just want to put the heated windscreen on and it'll just clear it. This car doesn't have it, so I'll show you the what you have to do in the R26. You have to press the like the, yeah, the heat on the windscreen. Instead of turning that on, all the fans start kicking off, the AC kicks off, and it's like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to drive around with my fans on full, my AC on full. Just please give me some bloody heated windscreens. It's French. <laughs> How compact and tight the engine bay is. The engine bay is the hardest thing. It's the most compact engine bay I've ever seen in my entire life. It's so difficult to work on the engine bay just because there is no physical room to do anything i mean when i was putting an oil catch can in there that that was there was literally one space for one thing to put it in and the catch can barely even fits uh, and and now that's it there's no room there's absolutely no room in the engine bay whatsoever um obviously i i can manipulate that and put the battery in the boot etc 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 um but I just think, I mean, when you when you look at similar cars, you know the Astro VXRs and the Focus STs, you know they've got they've got similar size engines, if not bigger engines, 
uh, and yet they still have so much more room. So I just don't understand where the concept of the engineering has come into why it has to be so compact in the engine bay. Uh, but, you know, it's something you've got to put up with, I'm afraid. And last but not least, the thing that pisses me off, and this is probably the thing that pisses me off the most about this car, uh, this isn't just the Megans in general. Well, it is a little bit, but it's not truly a reflection on the Megans in general. Uh, more, on the, or more on the previous owner, or more the previous owner where he took this place. Everything on the car is just over tightened, not greased. I don't know if you watch my, I don't know if you do watch my, many of my videos. I know there'll be a lot of people who haven't subscribed to me watching this, but. Every single video that I've done so far, every single mod, I've come into problems with bolts not coming off or bolts rounding and things just being too tight. And it's really frustrating because that mean to me, that's just somebody rattling something down, not greasing it. So to save two minutes out of their day, it's adding on hours and weeks onto my life. Uh, and that's the one thing that pisses me off about this car. Not all of them are like this. Obviously, they are hard to work on by nature, but I just feel like I've got an example that's just been, uh, I would not want to say rushed, uh, but it's just been a little bit abused in the garage uh, by not taking the right torque or, or not being greased properly. So, and again, it's not a reflection on my gun, but that's just a true reflection on my gun. There you go, lads. They're the main things that piss me off the most about my Megan R26. If you have missed anything in the comments, let me know. I'm sure I have. I'm sure I'm going to read them when we're like, ah, that pisses me off as well. But they're the only thing I could think of on the spot. Obviously, I love this car. Obviously, uh, I do I, I do really like this car. And there are things I do love about this car. But it's a parrot, isn't it? Fucking hell, repeat yourself much. But if you do want to see that video, uh, post it in the comments and give us a thumbs up. Uh, if I see enough uh, positive, if I see enough comments about me doing a video on things I love about them again, uh, I'll do one soon. But thanks for watching, lads. I love you all, and I'll see you next time. Hold on, hold on to me.